If women are men because they're doing everything that If women are men because they're doing everything that men do, then what does that make men? If men aren't doing anything that women aren't already doing, what is it that you bring to the table then? If you're saying that women have become men because they're working, they're going to school, they're also being mothers and parents, and that somehow makes them men and therefore unattractive because that's exactly what you're saying, then what does that make you all? Because in comparison, the modern woman between 25 and 55, 75% of them are working and they're also doing the majority of the childcare and domestic labor, whereas men are just working. So if women are in conclusion doing the most and that makes us men, which in turn would make us manly and masculine, does that make men women and feminine? All right, let's see what the community has got to say. And um, I'll just read all of them, all the comments. Then uh, at the end of the video, you get my reaction and uh, I'll just follow through these comments and tell you what's going on. But uh, you can also drop your opinion down below in the comment section. So uh, let's just go. A lot of men think providing begins and ends with they are nine to five okay wow of course it's a lady commenting that's very interesting women have always done three times the work of men we just no longer have oppressive laws holding us back from being able to live single and childless this is wild we are the strength that keeps the enemy at bay lol if you want this take to mean anything maybe women should start increasing the amount of employment in all industries not just being barristers and cashiers men do all heavy lifting construction law enjoyment military garbage collection engineers those are dominated by men and not just because it's a boys club it's because women and mass don't want to do those jobs of course I was listening to uh, a conversation with a divorce lawyer and the question that was asked to him was what are the current trends you're seeing as a divorce lawyer and he said the most common thing that he's been seeing as a trend and of course this is not to say for everyone but this is just his experience is that the women are doing everything they are the carers of the home they raise the children they cook they clean and they financially provide and the men disengage and so it's not necessarily that that levels the men up where they feel that they want to you know reinforce their masculinity or find a place to exist within that dynamic of marriage mm. they would rather tap out mm. and remove themselves and Shannon Lester had mentioned it and she had said I'm really butchering this and people are going to come for me for it so you know bear with me but they asked men would you be okay with dating or being with women that had a higher salary to you and their answer was like yeah sure absolutely no problem at all and then the second phase of the experiment was they put those men in the rooms with women that were operating at a higher salary and 80 percent of those men changed their minds when they were interacting in the same space as the women mm -hmm. and also they couldn't even be in a physical proximity to women Women that were financially more successful than they were well if that was the case why are women not paying more spousal or, or child support anyway let's go to the community and see what they have to say about this I met many men who dated women more successful than them and uh, a lot of these men ended up disengaging describing the relationships by lack of romance and being avoidant a lot of these guys said they did this because deep down they were honestly jealous of the woman they dated and this was their way of gaining back some power over the relationship. Oh, okay. Uh, I wonder if a poll was to be conducted on this comment, uh, how true would that be? It's because they defined their masculinity as providers and nothing else. Why being emotionally stunted? So to most modern women who are independent and can provide for themselves, these men have nothing to offer at all. I will not be surprised who this comment is coming from. I can't believe this, but at the same time, I find it bizarre. Marriage is a partnership. I guess there is some circumstances where people find that out and uh, don't just like it. Sadly, I have had this happen one too many times. It's either 
resentment of my success or them mooching of me like I'm their mom. Sigh. Sounds like men were more repulsed than anything. If a person reaches very high levels in a chosen career field, they often have certain characteristics about them that lead them to success. Too bad for these women that those traits are not things men find inherently attractive. Sounds like the guys thought in theory it would be fine. Then they met and uh, he bounced. Yeah, I mean, if men were, how would I put it? If men were to bring their work characteristics back home, then I wonder how the women would take it. So could it be possibly that, uh, could there be a possibility that the women, they go to develop some characteristics that are not compatible in running the home? Whereas the man, well, they can do both. It's quite possible. I, you know, I'm just putting it out there. I would like to know your thoughts in the comment section below. What are you doing? Uh, I'm a uh, astrophysicist. Okay, I'm a Gemini. Uh, yeah. <laughs> she probably got it all wrong. I don't know, it's an actual physics, but she said, I'm a Gemini. She, I don't think she got the, I mean, her own question. I don't think she even understood her own question. Like, did she equivalent, uh, I would say, did she think that uh, being an astrophysicist is equivalent to something like a Gemini? Like some, I don't know, horoscope sign? Of course, she's horoscope, like they said. Let's go to the comment section and see what the community has to say. Why is an astrophysicist on a dating show with influencers? <laughs> I'm sure he's trying to compliment himself. No, influencers are out there, they're loud, they are whatever. And he's shy in his bedroom and stuff like that, or in the office all the time. So, yeah, you know, they say opposite energy attract, right? Like energies repair. Yeah, so perhaps he's trying to compliment himself. She thinks an astrophysicist is the same as an astrologist. <laughs> oh, wow. This is gold. Wow. She's gorgeous, but that only lasts for so long. Sooner or later, you need to connect on the intellectual level. Of course. Of course. I mean, once uh, the intellectual gap is too wide, how, how will you guys survive at home? What will you guys be talking about? Like, not just like be talking about astrophysicist stuff, but normal human conversation once you've reached that height in the society of knowledge. Even the way you talk, the way you convey simple messages, it, it changes, you know? So I wonder how the influencer is going to get that. Please tell me she's been funny. Nah, she's not. She's a Gemini. <laughs> she's Gemini. When you guys go out, who pays for the dates? Mostly him. Always him. But when do you pay? Groceries. When it's really important, necessities, sometimes. Like? Groceries and, and the electric bill. <laughs> the electric bill. So you cover the electric bill for yeah, short? Yeah, like I do. 60 bucks, 70 bucks. Don't maybe, lie, maybe don't like lie. It's 100, 100 plus. It's 100 plus. He's a capper. Wait, he covers everything else? Yeah. Okay. So if he's covering 90% of the bills, what else do you bring to the table? She's gorgeous. Love and genuine loyalty, and <laughs> it's not all about money. You consider you guys a traditional couple? I don't see why not. But a question is, if the roles were reversed, do you think that this relationship would last? If roles were reversed? That's a good question. Should a guy earn for you to date him? Close to a million. Wait, wait, wait. Did she say over 500 pounds or over 500k? <laughs> well, I heard 500 pounds and you know why. I don't want to be mean, but uh, yeah, it's what it is. And if he doesn't, I'm not going to say yes. <laughs> <laughs> Women are getting very, very, very picky. 
very picky. It's like, you know, you got to make six figures. You got to have the nice car. You got to have the nice apartment that you keep really nice. You got to be a protector. You know, you've also got to let me somehow run the house and be the boss of the house when it comes to big decisions. I mean, there's not, listen, you got to be really good looking. You got to be in shape. And what I always say is, you know, when you make these demands, always look in the mirror and self-reflect. What are you bringing to the table? What are you willing to do? Do a proper, realistic self-assessment because otherwise you're only hurting yourself. You're going to say, oh, these, all these guys aren't good enough for me. I'm not even going to give them the second look. And maybe there are some really good guys out there that maybe they're not a 10, but maybe you're not a 10 either. And maybe, maybe a realistic assessment of that would open up a whole bunch of really wonderful opportunities for you that could work out really well. That's what's wrong with this generation today. These young boys today, what do she bring to the table? The hell you mean, man? What do your ass bring to the table? You got a woman that can come to the table that can make another you. What else she need to slide up to the table with? What about your job? What happened to men who were supposed to be responsible? Do you know that it's our job to take care of a woman and some children, to have a family? That's our damn job. I feel pity for Steve. This is a king of sims. I don't want to say much. Let's just um, go to the comment section and see what the community has got to say about this. One comment, then I'll give you my overall reaction on this uh, collection of clips I found on the internet. And I want to react on them. But uh, make sure you drop your own thoughts in the comment section below. Spoken like a true simp. Of course, the comment section will not spare Steve Harvey at all. If she brings nothing to the table, why am I with her? Okay. <laughs> Tyrese opened up about her concerns of his ex wanting 20k a month in child support for one year. For one year old daughter. Jeez. So she's not supposed to bring something to the table, Steve? That's not just a man's job. That's both of your jobs. Okay, now let's just unpack this. You know, we had uh, someone questioning the traditional roles and wondering what happens when women are out of there hustling just as hard as men, if not harder. And uh, you know what? It's a valid question. I accept that. I, I really accept that. And if women are out there just you know, juggling careers, motherhood and everything in between, then what exactly is the role of men in all of this? It's like trying to solve a puzzle with missing pieces, right? There is always the other side of the story. So um, remember that uh, we then get into, you know, or let's just say we are talking about the expectations, the pickiness, and the entitlement swelling around in dating scenes possibly in both sides you know some folks are out here demanding six figures the girls and uh, nice cars and a whole laundry list of criterias but what are they bringing to the table themselves it's like a game of you know what's my word with no clear winners in sight i'll say that just to be fair you know but let's not forget about the financial talk of what happening right now We've got some exes docking it out over child support, credit card bills, and who knows what else. It's like um, some kind of a soap opera right now unfolding right before our eyes in these modern times. But yes, the thing, at the end of the day, relationships are supposed to be about teamwork, about balance, about mutual respect. It's not about who is, um, who is bringing in more money or who is covering their electric bills it's about showing up for each other through thick and thin that's what you sign up for right for better for worse when you were taking those vows on the altar so whether you're a man a woman or somewhere in between nowadays we never know how many of it is out there but it's time to take a step back reassess those expectations and remember what really matters you now love loyalty and it a damn good electric bill it's always there so there's always someone who have to pay and other bills not just electric bills anyway thanks for tuning in to the ob podcast i'll see you in the next one cheers